Who needs a good pair of shorts for summer? Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel which is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. Today we're going to be going over several shorts patterns, some that I have made and some that I haven't. But before we get started, I actually have a question, which is, do you have any suggestions for shorts that have a flat front with a zip fly, but that aren't low waisted? The only examples that I could find in either Big Four or Indie were ones that were older, and so they were definitely like low rise, kind of below the belly button, and I don't like that look. So let me know if you know of any higher waisted, at least mid rise shorts that have that kind of description, because I would love to make a pair like that. Now, I used to not wear shorts very often, but since the pandemic, I do work from home more now, and so I have more opportunities to wear shorts in the summertime, and they are so incredibly comfortable. So I thought I would just go over some of my favorite patterns with you and also share with you some ones I'd like to try. And for the purposes of this video, of course you can cut off a pair of pants into shorts, but I'm gonna stick strictly to shorts patterns because otherwise this video would be three hours long. start with the patterns that I have made. The first pattern I want to share with you is the Papercut Patterns Tula Shorts. This comes in sizes 1 to 8 and also from 6 to 14. These are actually the shorts that I'm wearing today. This is made out of a linen rayon blend that was left over from another project. And I absolutely love these shorts. I also love the pants version. They're fully elasticated. They have pockets. They're just very, very comfortable, a loose, relaxed fit, and I think they're perfect for weekends. Even though this is such a simple pattern, it does have some nice details, like you can do this drawstring waist here, and I can't remember if it has a pocket option or not, but I'm sure you could always put pockets on the back if that's what you would like to do. I just left these ones plain, and yeah, I definitely highly recommend this pattern to anyone who's looking for a simple but polished looking elastic waist short pattern. The next pattern that I have sewn is Simplicity 8558. This is a Mimi G wardrobe pattern, and it comes in sizes 6 to 24. Now the version that I have made, I did a little bit of a hack actually. I shortened the legs and I added a gathered ruffle at the hem. I was trying to do a sew recreate the look from a pair of shorts from Cezanne, but you could easily just make the pattern as is and it would be really nice. The legs on this pattern are really, really full. They're almost sort of like a culotte style and so I do really like it for a drapey fabric. It's another pair of very relaxed, very comfortable shorts for summertime and I think they would be great for vacation. The next pattern I have to share with you is Simplicity 9549. This pattern comes in sizes 6 to 18. This pattern has options for shorts, pants, or a skirt, and I made the shorts, obviously. And the thing that I like about this particular pattern is it has a really cool pocket detail. Now, if I were to sew it again, I would make it a little bit differently, but I do think that the style is undeniably really interesting. I didn't quite get the fit right on my first version, but I would like to revisit the pattern at some point because it is a very simple, easy style like the other ones that I've mentioned, but that pocket detail kind of elevates it a little bit. The next pattern is the Paper Cut Patterns Palisade Shorts. This comes in sizes one to eight, and this is probably my second favorite pair of shorts. I made it out of a natural linen, and it has that really cool angled pocket detail that really makes it interesting, and it's also fun to put together. This pattern also has elastic gathering, kind of three quarters of the way around, and then it has a flat front. So if you're looking for that, I think that it's a really good option, and that pocket detail just makes it so interesting. The next pair is the True Bias Lander Shorts. This comes in sizes 0 to 18, and I very recently finished these, and I really love them. I love that they're high-waisted. I like the button detail. I like the pockets. I don't like the square back pockets that the pattern comes with, but I just substituted them with a different style and it was perfectly fine. And I absolutely want to make these again. I think that they are perfect for summer, a little bit more tailored than some of your elastic waist options, but still very casual and goes with a lot of different things in my closet. And then the final shorts pattern that I have tried is the Megan Nielsen Dawn Shorts. This one comes in sizes 0 to 20 and also 14 to 30. This pattern is for a very high-waisted classic denim short. It has a concealed button fly and all of your typical jean styling with pockets on the front and pockets on the back and belt loops. I definitely still have some fitting work to do on that pattern. The pair that I made isn't quite right, but they're still very comfortable and I wore them all summer long. They were definitely some of my most worn items of the year in 2022, and I'm looking forward to getting them back out this year as well. 
I would say this pattern is definitely the most advanced of the patterns that were on my list that I've tried, but as long as you take it step by step, the instructions are really good and I think that you could make it successfully. To be honest, the fitting is probably the most difficult part. Now let's move on to some patterns that I haven't made for myself yet, but that I would love to try. And we're gonna again go from most casual up to most dressy. The first one is the Green Style Creations Balboa Shorts. This one comes in sizes B to M. These are a very sporty short. I think you can even exercise in them. I believe they have an option that you can include briefs inside. I would just make the regular shorts because I would be lounging in mine and not exercising. I really love that they have a super thick waistband. It just seems like that would be very comfortable. And they have a little bit of a curved hem for a sort of a vintage 70s touch. And they also have pockets, of course. I do think that this would just be perfect for after coming home for a long day from work and you just want to change into something super comfortable, a t-shirt and pair of shorts. I think that these would be great for lounging. The next pattern is the Matchy Matchy Sewing Club Weekend Chore Shorts. This one comes in sizes extra extra small up to 6XL. This one is a loose fit elastic waist shorts pattern with pockets and it's meant for color blocking. So I really like this idea. I do want to do more projects this year that use up my scraps. You could kind of just pick a few different pieces of fabric that go together and make a really cool pair of patchwork shorts. They would also be easy to wear, comfortable, great for lounge wear. And I don't know that I would necessarily buy this pattern, but I really am inspired by the idea. I might try to hack something that I already have that I've made before and maybe do something similar on my own. This next one is a free pattern. It's the Make With Mandy Sky Shorts from Peppermint Magazine. It comes in sizes A to P. Now the thing that I like about this one is that it has a flat front with an elasticated back and the legs are very, very loose. It definitely has more of that culotte look to it where at first glance it looks like a skirt. I just think that it would be incredibly comfortable and it definitely gives me beachy vibes. If I were going on a vacation somewhere, I would definitely make a pair of shorts like this because I think that they would be fantastic wearing it over your swimsuit for going out for a nice casual day of shopping. I really do like that pattern and I love that it's free. Just do keep in mind that because the legs are so wide, it does take more fabric than a typical pair of shorts would. I believe it takes between one and a half and two and a half yards of fabric depending on your size. So just keep that in mind. I am used to being able to make a pair of shorts out of a yard or even a little bit less than that. So it does take a little bit more fabric. The next one is the Itch to Stitch Brampton Shorts. This comes in sizes double zero up to 40. Now, I remember when she released this last year, it was kind of towards the end of summer, and I almost purchased the pattern then, but decided not to because I knew that I wouldn't make them until this year or even later. But I may go back and actually purchase that pattern because I do really like it. It's meant for more fluid fabrics like rayon, and it is an elastic waist paper bag short. I think that it looks really elegant and polished and could be so fun in lots of different prints. And of course, it does have pockets. The next one is not one that I would make, but I thought that you guys might be interested. It's the French Navy Shauna Lee shorts. It comes in sizes A to I. It has an elastic waist, a pleated front with cuffs, and the reason why I wouldn't purchase it is because the legs are not super short. I'm only four foot nine, I have extremely short legs, and so I want all of my shorts to hit at mid thigh because otherwise my legs just look really, really short. But for those of you who are taller or just prefer longer shorts that are more like knee length, I think that this is a really good option. Unfortunately, it does not come in the biggest size range, but hopefully in the future she will expand her sizing. I know that she is working on it, and so perhaps that is a feature that's coming in the future. I think there is also a add-on to this pattern that you can make them into pants as well. The next one is one of my favorite pattern companies. It's the True Bias Danny Shorts. It comes in sizes 0 to 18 and also 14 to 32. Now I do own this pattern, but I haven't made it yet. What I really like about it is there's several different options. So you can do the fully elasticated waist, or you can do a partial elasticated waist with a fly front, and that's the version that I would probably make. The shorts do come with cuffs. And this is another one that it is a very comfy, casual, relaxed style. But depending on styling and fabric choice, I think that you could also dress it up a little bit. I'm looking forward to trying out this pattern. I do think this is one I'm probably going to make sometime this summer. The next pattern is the Deer and Doe Chatain Shorts. It comes in sizes 34 to 52. This is a much more dressy pair of shorts. It has a pleated front with a V-shaped yoke and an optional scalloped hem. It's a very feminine looking style and it has a high waist or a regular waist option. 
I can't recall off the top of my head if it has a side zip or a back zip, but it's one of those. I am not overly fond of those kind of closures. I prefer a fly front. So for that reason, I'm not sure that I would make this, but I do think that it's a very beautiful looking pair of shorts. And if you're someone who likes to dress up a little bit, I think that this style is an excellent option. The next pattern is one that I own, but I have not made yet. It's the Vicky Sews Ruth shorts. It comes in sizes 34 to 52, and then Vicky Sews does have also four separate height brackets. This one has a tailored look. It has a high waist, pleats in the front, pocket flaps on the sides here, and it also has very wide legs and cuffs. I'm a big fan of wide leg shorts because my thighs are on the larger side. I do like when it's nice and roomy. It's just more comfortable, and I also feel like it's a little bit more flattering. This is much more of a tailored short option, a little bit dressier. I might even wear something like this to the office in the summertime. I don't know, maybe. But certainly, I do think that it would be easy to dress it up with a pretty blouse or a button-up shirt and some nice sandals, and you would have a very polished looking outfit. Now, if you're looking for ideas for summer sewing, but shorts just aren't your jam, watch this one next. I have so many ideas for dresses.